The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. <clears throat> okay, folks, uh, looking good, feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a look here at the Treasury bonds here over the last uh, six or seven days. We made this big high. We'll look at that in just a second here on the weekly chart. But here's our 382 coming back. This is our first 382 correction. We had one right here. That led to the ABCD, and now we've got the big one coming in right now. This is going to be the largest rally that we've had over the last few days because we've been going down since the 28th. That was the day the market made the high. Now, remember, we were looking for the market to repeat there, and now it's going to repeat more because it's going to make that 382. So you want to be a seller right here at uh, 123.31. you got to put your stop up here at 124.31, but this is a legitimate trade. Remember, looking at this on the weekly, this is where we stand, folks. I mean, there was the 135 pattern way back here. We pushed that on there so many times. We've shown that so many times. I don't want to do it because it's waste too much trouble. But there's a possibility that we could reach this level right here. Now, we've made the first level right here. It's taken eight weeks to uh, take a look at this. You'll see that's where we are right there. And uh, that's right at the 61% retracement, just like this one was. So it's done everything it's supposed to be doing. Look how accurate these cycles were, folks, on the weekly chart. There was your move right there. You move it over, and there was your move right there. I mean, that you can't ask for anything. Now, this one took a lot longer, but this led to the bigger bottom right there at 07. And now here's where we are now. So you want to sell that 382. You don't know whether it's going to work or not, but you know what, boys and girls, the good part about this is nobody else does either. You don't need to know that. You need to know one thing. Remember from City Slickers, Curly said, no one thing. And that one thing is, how much do I have to see or to risk to see if I'm going to be right? And that's all you have to know. Because if you can control your risk, you control your emotion, and the rest of that is in the bar or shop, uh, ready to see the uh, the new hairstyles that are coming up. I got a little messed up on my uh, way. I'm going to re repeat that kind of stuff. I was thinking of Eddie Murphy for just a second. Let's take a quick look here at some of the things that are really important to what happened last night that we alerted you to uh, in the videos that we sent out. Here is crude oil, folks. Now, you can see this move in crude oil. It's been going on now for uh, $3,000 straight up. But look at this last night. This is when we send the – remember, we were short this, and we went right down here to this level right here, right below 70. There was our retracement. Look what's happened. But look how it did it, folks. Just by watching this, move this over so we can get it uh, – Get this out of the, uh, you know what? Let me do it within eight minutes because then we can see it a lot clearer. Here was the first 382 retracement right here. What we said was watch for a 382 retracement, and here is where it started. There's your low, there's your high, there was your 382 retracement. What did it do again? We had another one. So all you want to do is you go from your low to your high, perfect 382, bada bing, bada boom. Where does it go to, boys and girls? Johnny, raise your hand out there, buddy. Put that silver plaque out there. A, B equals C, D right up there at uh, 172.60. It's trading at 172.75. Now what we need to do is to check to see if this low right here is going to be a 382 off of this low right here. So let's just double check it from your low up to your high. And uh, we miss it by a little bit. But let's see how close it was to the last correction. Get that out of the way. There was the last correction right here. We want to move that over, and you'll see it matched it nearly perfectly. See how the market's repeating itself? That's all it ever does, folks. If you can find that repetition, you've got some good things on your side. So let's keep a, keep watching that. Now we've got one that uh, looked like it was going to be a beauty, but it wasn't. Let's take a look at this gold. As you know, we've been short gold for the last few days. And you can see we've had this huge break here. 
what we did today, looking at this uh, longer term picture at the four hour, we had a really nice 382 pattern right here, and we shorted it, you know, right here. So we had a really nice profit in that. We took the profit off, went long and quickly gave $10 back, and it's a good thing because it's dropped another 10. We have broken through this very, very badly, but look what's happened today, folks. This was a real exciting move. Just get this up here to take a look at it. Look at this rally. We come all the way down to this level here, and then we rally $17, and we all know what that is. That's one half of the harmonic number. Comes within 50 cents of the exact 382 off of this number right there. There it is, 50%. That tells us we're going lower. And how much lower? All we have to do is to just measure that A, B, C, D from your high right here down to your low. You go right up to the 382. You can see it right there. Where does it say? 386. That's close enough to 382 for me. And then we're coming down, and we're going to be going down, down, down. We're going to be close, another $40 lower, folks. At 2008, that's 37 bucks from where we are right now. So the game plan, if you're not in this, and we are basically flat right now, is to try to find a nice little 382 rally off of this one right here. So the next few hours, remember, this is four hours. It's gone through here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's see the 382 off of that high. We'll take you into this level right here, and that will be uh, right up here at uh, 2045 and uh, the chart on the wall is telling me guess what that the uh, treasury bonds <clears throat> have just uh, instigated a sell signal let's get this out of the way so we can see everything let me tile vertical and get everything out of the way so we can see it quickly and uh, it just hit it at 31 i just happened to see it because the uh, order popped up there it is right there it just made it 23, 31, 31, your stop goes above here. And remember, Powell is speaking today, but everybody knows he's going to do something crazy. But, you know, crazy is what they're made of over there at the Federal Reserve. All right, we got another one that looks interesting here. That was the Federal Federal Reserve. <laughs> February Hawks. <laughs> Fair. Okay, let's move on here. This is the daily here in the Hawks. Get it up so we can see this. You can see the ABCD pattern here. There's 45. Uh, 13. Okay, that was the buy signal. We made a slightly lower low today by just a little bit. It's only got about $150 profit in it, but it's it's that's a perfect A B C D, folks. You you it's just a beautiful number. Nothing else you can do about it. Uh, 45.34 came within a heartbeat of the exact number. So you put your stop 100 points uh, or 400 bucks, which is the price of one hog, uh, one cent hog of live lean hogs they stop would be right below there so anyway that's what we're watching here uh, in the of uh, the feb hogs uh, at this time now uh, one of the questions that someone keeps asking me is the top in the stock market in folks i have i so feel like i say every day i can give you an unqualified i don't really care because i really don't care all i know is it's a possibility of it remember this is what we've done so far today in the last two days let's we're going to cover that when we come back so stay with us we have to pay a few bills here at tfnn 877-927-6648 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to look at uh, this year's action so far since we've only got two days. Here's what we had. We had the first ABCD form here at 67, excuse me, 47.80. We went down to as low as 47.75. And then we rallied, almost making a 3A2, but we didn't quite do that. This is very important from my perspective because I believe in these ratios so much. But there was the ABCD, and then we had the rally here. Now, the rally should have gone to the 382 of this number right there. You can see it missed it by one point, okay? So you have to consider that a miss, but it, within one point, I guess it's close enough. But if we measure it from the last high, you'll start to see the AB, there's A, B, C, D to the downside. And since we had a nice uh, 382 ratio, that measured down to here, and look what today's low is right there, right on the bottom. So what are we looking at now? We're a market that's just had a two-day correction in the stock market. We did not take the lows out before Christmas, okay? When we get below this low, if we do, which is 47.45, that's going to signal to me that everybody that's bought this over the last two weeks with all this hullabaloo of everything's wonderful and Camelot is back, they have a loss. And that's going to be interesting how they handle that. Now, that hasn't happened as yet, but if we go below 47.45, that's going to be interesting. Let's just look at it on the daily just to show you what it might look like. There it is right there. You see that? That means that everybody that bought it here, okay, once they get below this level right here, that's a bad sign. Look what happened when that happened, okay? Look what happened when that happened, okay? Look what happened when that happened. So when those things break, see, this time it didn't break. It didn't break here and it didn't break here. But now if we get below this level right here, that's what we're looking at. So getting back to this, let's go back and reiterate where we want to be. We just go back to the high, and we're just going to redo the 382 is all we're going to do. We're going to go back and take the high. There it is at 42, 48, 42. The low today is 48, 45. That's 100 handles. There's your number right there, boys and girls. Let's just mark it in. 4782. That's where you want to be. A look to be a seller. Now, how do I feel about something like that? really really positive because if the trend is down and it's down very you know rapidly like we're seeing here it has a chance it's going to go a lot lower 
perfect example right here. Here the trend is still up. Then we have a good break, and then we have a little bit of a rally. Check to see what that rally was from the high down to your low. Yes, Johnny, everybody sees your hand waving in the background. Hang it. There it is right there. 382 there. 382 right here. That's uh, what you want to be watching. At least that's what I'm looking at. Now, we've had a small ABCD pattern here. Not much to even count, much like this one was. But this is what I want to be watching. So that's what we're paying attention to. It was easy to see this, you know, this low forecast because that was nothing more combination of all these ABCDs to the downside. So that's what we're paying attention to right now. Okay, let's move on here to see what's going on. Yeah, the bonds are, oh, the bonds have a huge profit of one point. <laughs> so it, it's better than a loss. Let's put it that way. Actually, two points now. We just came down a little bit. I've covered the crude oil. That's a very important. We've got uh, Jeff Huge coming up. Always has great stuff. Let's move over to natural gas. We just missed a beauty today. Let's get it up here, and we'll show you where we are. You'll see we've been waiting to get to the uh, 72 level. If you remember, 72 is the 382 on this long term. Let's just do it. This is an hourly. If we go to the daily and bring it up, you'll see there's your number at 72, 272. You notice that we have a very nice ABCD forming today. We haven't hit our objective yet. It missed it by a dollar, but for us, that's like hand grenades and... Uh, grenades because you got to hit it right on the uh, right on the money otherwise you're going to be giving up too much so it's still moving higher which is good you can all see the real easy a b c d pattern right here if you added a little bit of time to it in fact you'll see here day one two three four five six seven days up one two three four five six this is the sixth day up so the ideal place would be to see it there tomorrow at 272. Now we're only five, uh, you know, five bucks under that, so it could still make that. Looking at this on a shorter time frame, you'll be able to see that this is what's happened so far. We got up to this level. We didn't quite get there. We, oh, missed it by one tick. Are you kidding me? Wow, I didn't even realize that. Wow. Well, it wouldn't have been filled anyway because our, our order was at 72.80. Okay, now we've had an ABC to the downside, and all that's done so far is to make a 382. Well, it's made an ABCD right at a 50%, and it's made a 382 off of this number right here. So it hit good support right there. So we see it to get one more time up there. That's what we'd like to see to get our fill in the exact way that we'd like to take a look at it. But. Uh, that's maybe trying to be a little bit too much of a nitty-gritty or too much of a nickel-dimer. But by golly, you know, I believe in these numbers so much, I just have to go with what I see. And looking at this, you know, on the daily, it told me it was going to go to 72 and a half. It got to 71.90. Well, that's only within 60 cents. That's only $60 in a contract that's, that's $500 a penny for, for 10 points. So... I probably missed that one, but I was doing other things today, so what can I do? Don't have to do or not have to worry about it. That's all I can say. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here uh, in the natural gas. Let's move on here to uh, one other one here. The, the soybean, excuse me, the euro has been dropping for quite some time. As you know, we've been watching that. We'll get it up here on the longer term daily here because we hit such big numbers up there. There's where we were, right up at the perfect 786 level, just right up there at 1100 It's now down over $2,000 uh, to the downside. Remember the last major correction we had here? Remember, this is 53% reverse of the U.S. dollar. So you're going to be expecting a move that's going to be at least to there. Okay? It should get to right there. and That's it. Uh, down about another 60 or about 60 pips. So we're going to put that in as a possibility to see when it gets to this level right here. What that is, low it up a little bit from your low to your high. That's going to bring you in right at your 61 to 78% level. My guess is you see the 78% level right here, folks? If you just move this over, there's where it wants to go. It wants to go right halfway between the 71 61.8 and 786. So that's what we'll be watching. Now, that'll as we get closer, 
this last correction, look, it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. We are now one, two, three. We're only halfway through, if that's the case. The ideal situation from a trading standpoint, and hoping is always a bad word, but hope for this. Go from your high right up here down to your low right down here and hope for this. This is what you want to hope for is a quick counter trend 382 rally at 110. 109.99. Watch that one. Draw a big picture around that because that would be a beauty. Put your stop right above there. Stay tuned. We got Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights coming up. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. We'll be right back. gold report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we have a Happy New Year boy here today, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, Happy New Year to you, my friend. Happy New Year to you as well, Larry. Good to be on the show today. I'm always, always glad to have you on. Now, you're talking about the annual returns for 2023, and, uh, boy, they little look a lot different than that big black line of the NASDAQ, doesn't it? It sure does. You know, um, I wanted to include this chart just to kind of give everybody some perspective because, you know, contrary to popular opinion and what you're hearing in the media every day, the 2023 bull market was 
not exactly epic, certainly not as epic that meets, uh, as meets the eye. And uh, one of the ways that we know that is if we look at the S&P equal weight index, um, we can observe that the average stock in the S&P 500 was up just a little more than 11.5%. And, uh, you know, that's a far cry from the 26.2% total return we saw in the S&P or even the 24.2% that we saw in terms of the price move. Um, we've also looked at the median stock performance, Larry, and that means that, you know, half the stocks were better, half the stocks were worse, and the median stock performance was just a uh, 12.6. So, you know, these are more or less in line with the long-term historical average of the market. And uh, this is one other fact that might be difficult for some of your listeners to uh, believe, but about 70% of the stocks in the S&P actually underperformed the benchmark last night or last year, and, and about a third of them finished in negative territory. So, you know, we oh. got this face-ripping rally at the end of the year. Everybody thinks, um, you know, it's time to get back into the market. But absent the contributions of the top seven mega cap stocks, yes, the magnificent seven, uh, the averages had pretty pedestrian returns last year. Well, it certainly looks like it. I mean, this is really an amazing chart looking at this. You, you hear about it until you see it on a chart. The next one is what's really interesting to me, and this is about the investment uh, sentiment because I follow that uh, through your work. And uh, when you see people talk about all the Lamborghinis and Porsches and Ferraris that they're buying with their stock, especially Bitcoin stuff, it, it, it really uh, reminds me of the old dot-com bubble stuff. But uh, what are you looking at here, Steve? Uh, it looks yes. pretty close, Larry. It looks pretty close to the dot-com bubble. i got to be honest with you. Um, you're looking at uh, two different measures of investor sentiment here. On the top frame, we've got the, the name exposure index. That's the National Association of Active Investment Managers. It's a two-week moving average survey of responses from professional asset allocators and professional money managers. And that now reached 102.7% up from about 78% a week ago. That actually slightly exceeds the July high of 101%. Whenever this cohort of investors gets leveraged, it more or less marks the top. Uh, we could see the last time they got leveraged prior to July was uh, right around the 2021-2022 all-time record highs. And, uh, you know, shortly thereafter, we saw a collapse in stock prices. We saw the same thing in July. And here we are again at that levered perspective with uh, professionals. What's really interesting here is that individual investors are actually even more bullish than they were at the all-time record highs. And in July, we actually got a, um, a bull bear spread in the American Association of Individual Investors survey that reached 32% for two consecutive weeks. It subsequently turned down uh, actually quite a bit to about 21%. But I think what it's really done here is it's marked the top in investor sentiment, and the next move will be back down to the lower end of the range, and that should coincide with, um, I think, new bear market lows. Okay. Now, the next cha uh, chart that you have, uh, Jeff, is the internals, and that boy, that's another one that looks like something dramatic has happened, doesn't it? Wow. That's uh yeah, a lot of it, divergences supports my it supports my conclusion. Um, you know, a lot of people have been talking about how how strong Brent had been, right? You know, we got this huge move off of the October lows in yeah. November and December. But, you know, the last couple of weeks of December, we've really seen that fall by the wayside and, and quite a bit so in terms of uh, measuring the advanced decline percent of the S&P 500. That's actually moved to negative 52 percent last week. And the five-week moving average of this uh, measure of breadth actually turned decidedly negative after plummeting from a lower high. The middle frame looks at momentum, and this is one that really has my attention. It, it is uh, really the five-week RSI oscillator that we're looking at here, and it posted a lower high to leave a negative divergence in place uh, versus the July high, and then plunged back below the 70% overbought level. Um, that's pretty indicative of a reversal of trend. What's also interesting, and it's not shown on this chart, is that we have negative divergences in momentum at weekly and monthly scales of trend as well. And so 
Um, I think when you put all three of those together, it's a pretty big harbinger of concern. The final thing this uh, chart points to is up volume. It's fallen back to, you know, the five-week moving average of the ratio of up to down volume, fallen back to about one. And uh, that really just shows that there's just no uh, you know, positive momentum in volume. There's no volume that's driving this. And so um, it really looks like the internals have peaked along with sentiment. And this sets up uh, for a pretty big uh, down leg, I think, going forward. Okay, now we've got a couple of charts here on valuations that uh, look interesting. Uh, do you want to tell us what you're looking at here? Well, you know, valuation is never a real good reason to buy or sell, um, you know, in terms of timing the market. But it does tell you what neighborhood you're in. And, you know, when we look at uh, price uh, versus uh, its earnings, the price earnings ratio, we're at, you know, the top decile at 32.3 times. When we look at price to sales, again, top decile of valuations in history at 2.6 times. Um, dividend yields plumbing its all-time lows at about 1.4%. And the price to book is 4.45%. Uh, That's about uh, near its 99th percentile. And so um, whenever you get valuations up near uh, their, their historic highs in the 10th decile of history, um, the, the forward 10-year returns for the market tend to be very, very low. In fact, we calculate them to be just Three and a quarter percent annually for the next decade is what we're expecting out of the stock market based on these valuations. So it really caps the upside potential for stocks, and it gives uh, us a reason to be concerned about where we are in the cycle. Wow. I tell you, I love these charts. I mean, you show the internals of the market like I, I don't look at those uh, ex except through you. And boy, when you point that out, it really gives you some things to be uh, scared of. Now, we've got some uh, Elliott Wave counts here that you want to tell us about. And you even have yeah, a bullish um, alternative count in here, too, don't you? Well, you know, uh, some uh, viewers might notice that this is the exact same chart. The only thing we've changed is the labeling of the chart, right? Yeah. So okay. what we're doing is we're looking at a chart on a monthly scale of the S&P since 2009 to present. And, you know, the bearish preferred count on the left-hand side counts the initial decline into the October 2022 low is wave A of an ABC corrective waveform. And that what we've seen since that time is a rally that has traced out um, another three-wave form that should be wave B of that ABC. That's our preferred way of counting it unless okay. and until we break out. Okay, stay with us, folks. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. He'll be right back. Don't go away. 777-7664. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. 
Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back, folks, with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights, and he's talking about the broad market telling us a bearish tale. And boy, when you look at that value line in the Russell, boy, that's not to be bullish considering the other two broke out to the upside. Yeah, you know, uh, Larry, one of the things I was going to mention about the bullish alternate count is that even if the market were to break out, and it hasn't yet, but if it were to break out to a new all time high, the SP, I'm saying, we only see upside to about 49. 14950 tops. And so one of the things that really suggests to us that um, this is a much more bearish situation than bullish is this broad market view. I mean, the value line composite looks at 1,700 stocks. These are the largest stocks in yeah. North America by revenue. And yeah. uh, there's no way that that index on the left-hand side is anywhere near breaking out to a new all-time high. In fact, it hasn't even taken out its February 2023 high yet. And if we yeah. look at the Russell 2000, which is the 2000 most liquid small cap stocks in the U.S., um, it's moved dramatically up off of its lows, no doubt, right? But again, it's only retraced about 50 percent of its decline. And by the way, it declined 33 percent from its peak to its trough. So uh, we were we were down 33 percent as recently as as late October. So. You know, both of these indexes appear to have completed or very nearly completed a flat corrective wave form, uh, which I think just marks their primary wave B counter trend advances. And so what we should be expecting is a C wave to the downside. And we think that C wave is already underway and could carry all the way down to, you know, um, uh, 350, 375 in the uh, value line index and as low as, say, uh, 105 on the IWM Russell 2000 ETF. So um, that would basically wow. cut these indexes in half. Well, I remember when that happened the last time. It was in 74 and 75. So we're going to find out if it's going to be happening again. Let's move on to the next one here. And that is the, my, the old gold medal itself, gold. And you want to tell us what you're looking at here? Because uh, well, to me, it looks like it wants to go lower. <laughs> absolutely. You know, um, I, I get asked a lot, Jeff, you're so bearish on the market and all the evidence supports your view. But what's an investor to do? Well, I think the ultimate investment right now is gold. It is the ultimate hard money investment. And one of the things that we're looking at here in, the, in this chart is the completion of a very large degree cup and handle base formation, whereby the most recent um, series of highs goes back to around 2020. So over the past four years, we've been attempting to break out. And in November and December, we posted new monthly closing highs to confirm a breakout. In fact, in December, we made a new all-time high as well as an all-time monthly closing high. And that resolves both the handle and the cup view of this uh, of this pattern, we're starting to see momentum confirm this. Momentum has, has rallied back up to the upper boundary and broken out slightly in December. 
and we expect that to carry through. Uh, we'd also point out that within the commodity complex, uh, gold's relative strength is re- reasserting itself from a higher low, and it looks to us like this is just ready to go right now. We are recommending a heavy overweight in gold bullion for 2024, and our upside target, we just raised it from 2500 to 2800 I think that could be achievable in the next 12 to 18 months. Wow. That's great. Wow, that's really a beauty. Let's take a look here uh, about your monthly newsletter that's coming up. Uh, this, folks, this is the best deal in all of uh, investment, in my opinion, for, what's it, $12 a month? <laughs> well, it is, yeah. And, and in fact, um, Larry, we are going to publish our 2024 Investment Outlook uh, issue of the newsletter on January 6th. That's next Saturday. And so uh, uh-huh. investors uh, or, or viewers that are not familiar with our work, uh, you can sign up to receive our newsletter for free on hugeinsights.substack.com. That'll give you a free view of the first four or five pages of a 20-page newsletter. And uh, if you if you like what you read and you want you want to get a, a closer look at what we're thinking about from an investment perspective and our full analysis, um, you can upgrade to paid for as little as twelve fifty a month by buying an annual uh, a subscription for one hundred and fifty dollars. So very very inexpensive. Uh, we publish the first Saturday of every month. And then paid subscribers actually get a weekly uh, report from us called Alpha Insights Idea Generator Lab. That report has our top actionable trade idea of each week. And we also update our market commentary on a weekly basis as well. So there's a lot of value here for $12.5 a month. So we'd encourage you to take a look at it. Again, that's hugeinsights.substack.com. That's where you can access the, the newsletter. And the next publication is, again, next Saturday, January 6th. Well, I will say this, folks. I've checked those uh, results that he has, and uh, you should check it yourself just to prove to yourself that he knows what he's talking about. Listen, we want to have you back on in a couple weeks, but thank you so much for this great information, Jeff, and I want to wish you the best for all of 2024, okay? Likewise, Larry. Thanks a lot. I look forward to being on again. You bet. Jeff Huge, folks. Alpha Insights. That's www.jwhinvestment.com. stand-up guy and he really knows what he's talking about okay let's move on here to uh, some of the other things that are going on in these markets uh we have a definite affinitive buy excuse me a sell now in our uh 382 at uh 123.31 we hit 124.01 and 123.31 was a 382 retracement that's what we're looking for Stop has got to be up here, and of course the Fed is going to be out there talking today, so that's going to bring a little volatility, but this is mother God and country, folks. This is what we look for. You've got the big ABCD pattern down here. You're having the first rally back. It's supposed to stop at the 382. That doesn't mean it's going to, but the odds favor, you know, like Louis Pasteur said, chance favors the prepared mind, and that's what we're going to try to be doing here as we're watching some of these things uh, here uh, unfold okay so that's the main thing to look at again let's repeat what we're looking at here in the c mini s and p because it might be affected by what's going on with the fed today because we've got several more hours of trading this is an important one same thing we've had uh, three uh three hard days down the first 382 retracement takes us to 4782 that's what you'd want to be looking now you'd say wow could it possibly get there Boys and girls, this has been a bull market for a long time, especially since October the 27th. Look at the last rally that we had here. See, this this rally here, we're at 37 handles just very, very quickly. And if you measured it, you'd see you'd be almost doing the same type of rally. You see that? It's just repeating it. It wouldn't repeat it here, but it might repeat it here. This is why the number that you're watching for is 4782. That's 21 handles from where we are right now. Stop's got to go above here. But if it's right, it's going to be a pretty good winner. But again, no one knows whether you're right or not. That's the important thing is you got to focus on how much you risk. Each time we do these pictures, folks, each time we do these, this is what our expected move is supposed to be. And that's why we put a stop in that's reasonable above it. That's the whole key is that you've got to think in probabilities. It's not how much you make. 
it's how much you don't lose and that's the key to successful trading so let's take a break here 877-927-6648 If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I want to shift gears here a little bit because I covered this in the newsletter here this past weekend. But if you'll notice, uh, we have this big ABCD giving us a bearish bias down here to another $2 uh, an ounce lower here in silver around 21, okay? You notice the last time we got to 21, we went from 21 to 26. We caught a lot of that, okay? Here's the key. If we look at this on the weekly basis, this is a long-term trade, folks, but if we get it, and I think it's a beauty, but here's where we are. I do think sometime in my lifetime, and I've plan to live quite a few more years, then we're going to see $100 silver. You'll notice where we are right now. We had the 61% retracement here, spot on to the tick. We bought that, folks. If you remember, we were in there, we were buying that. That was in the end of September. Actually, it was October the 6th. It actually, it was my daughter's birthday. Anyway, this we made a higher high by just a penny, didn't go anywhere, and now we're bringing it down one more time. So here's what you'd like to see. This is the weekly chart, and you want to be watching from the low that we made right back here to the next high. We're going to come down, 
what I plan to see what will happen is we're going to get right to about there. Okay, and that is going to be just about a perfect 78% level off of that number. That's down a little bit lower. It's at 1921. That's the number. 19, just roughly figure 19, nineteen dollars an ounce is what you that's four bucks from where it is right now. If you buy that, folks, that's gonna be a really good trade from a long term perspective. Because if you look at silver on a really long time frame, this is the monthly, we're still looking to see silver at thirty four bucks. So if you buy it at nineteen and sell it at thirty four that's life-changing. And I got started in this business with a move like that. This was the move that I got started in way back in 1968 and 70 and ended in 1980. Anyway, let's take a break here for tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless. Stan Harley will be our guest tomorrow. Harley Stock Market Cycles. So stay tuned.